Hi, welcome to this KTLV5 teaching. In this video, I would like to show you how this course was designed for you to study it. So this is probably what you're going to see when you study this course. And starting with the first section, you're going to have a few videos with introduction about the KTLV5 interface, files, menus, toolbars. And you need to know this before you go into the course so you know how to use the software. I also added a video about how to add subtitles in your own language because Udemy does not offer that. In the sections 2 and 3, in section 2, we go straight into designing a very simple project. And uh, I'm showing you how to design this and how to use the commands while we do it. It's not a big problem if you find it too difficult. You can just watch this without doing what's going on here and then later I will tell you when you can come back to this section and just do that project as an exercise. Then in section 3 we are kind of doing the same thing with some a little more advanced commands. And again I recommend that you do those section 2 and 3 even uh, if you find them difficult. But uh, if you think you're on a rush and you need to learn Katia immediately, you can just watch those videos. So there are importance to watch all the videos because I'm telling you informations that you will need forward in the course. And then in section 4, we start with the first workbench, which is the Sketcher workbench. So this Sketcher workbench is the base for probably all the workbenches in Katia V5. In every workbench, you probably need to know how to use this to design 2D lines and drawings that uh, you transform later into 3D objects. Then we have the part design video library. So this is where we transform 2D sketches in uh, 3D objects. And generally, we design parts in this uh, video. And here I'm showing you all the commands in the part design workbench. And every video has the title of the command or two commands in one. This is made like this so you can come back every time you have a challenge at work or when you work in Katia V5. You can come back and you can see, rewatch that video to see if you forgot about something. Next, we go into assembly design video library. So here I'm covering all the commands into Katia assembly design and all the videos. They have the name of the command or the name of the toolbar. Next in section seven, we cover the drafting video library. So in here you learn how to do 2D drawings from 3D parts. And in here again, I cover all the commands in the drafting workbench. In section eight, general video library, I'm covering a few commands and options that uh, they do not apply to any workbench. They're just options from Katia V5, apply materials, some performance options. You need to watch all those videos. Maybe you need to make some of those adjustments in your Katia V5 session. In section nine, there are a lot of practice practice projects. So there are three main projects with various steps where uh, you start from scratch to design something or to simulate a job like you would do in a real job. So not only to design simple parts. I'm also trying to show you here how would you approach a project or an issue in a project from a real job perspective. So that's this is a very good exercise because you'll be prepared if you go on a job or on an interview. From section 10, we go into more advanced Katia V5 workbenches. So we start with the generative shape design, wireframes, 3D lines and splines. Section 11, generative shape design, surfaces. So I cover here all the commands for surfaces, including advanced surfaces like sweep, all the various profiles in the sweep command and also adaptive sweep command. And section 12, is the body and white templates toolbar from generative shape design. So those are commands that you generally use in body and white. In section 13, we cover the sheet metal design workbench. Those are all the commands that uh, you need to design sheet metal. And I'm also showing you the sheet metal parameters, the K factor, a neutral axis and bend allowance. So this is sheet metal science that you need to know even before you start to use the software. So it's very important to watch this. In section 14, I cover digital mockup kinematics. So this is a workbench in Katia V5 that it's used to do simulations and to move parts. And this is not difficult even if you're a beginner. You only need to know part design and assembly design to use this. You don't need other workbenches to do simulations. And you have a lot of resources to exercise along with uh, each video. And the last section, section 15. Automotive Formula 1 Industrial Process Presentations. I have a few presentations here where I discuss about those three industries that I have been working in. First, I'm showing you the assembly line and vehicle major components because it's very good to know this if you want to go in the assembly industry. If even if you mention this at an interview, what I'm showing you here is going to be you're going to have a big advance in front of everyone. Then the automotive production process on paper with all the steps that are uh, made to 
do mass production automotive. Those processes are even used today all around the world. Even Elon Musk at Tesla uses those. And it's very good to know this if you, again, if you mention this at an interview, they are going to know that you know something and that's going to be very good for you. Application software documents using project development. This is also used in automotive and in other industries, even in the airplane design industry. I'm discussing about the FMEA and some other type of softwares that uh, there might be using companies. So it would be easier for you to learn how to use those when you get into a company. And also if you discuss about the FMEA at a job interview, it's going to be very good for you. I have here an automotive assembly line video with comments. So you can watch this. It's uh, very good to know what's going on in uh, automotive assembly line. Even if you're a designer, it's very important as I'm showing in those videos. If you're a CATIA designer, it's so important to know what's going on on the assembly line because you're going to have a big edge in front of everyone. In those two presentations, I'm showing you Formula 1, how a Formula 1 car is built and what are the Formula 1 car major components in case you want to go into in this industry. And the industrial design. Here I'm showing you what other industries you can work in with Katia V5 and where you can learn about those. And as you can see here, I have this announcement in the course. Soon I will be adding the last section to this course that is going to be about how to practice to gain experience, so how to showcase your experience, ideas to look for a job and tailor your CV, how to conduct yourself at an interview and showcase your experience. So there are going to be a few videos and also a few videos about how to do more exercises, how to exercise more in Katia V5. And I'm also going to give you exercises they are not only show you how to exercise so it's going to be a bonus a big surprise i'm going to show you how to find projects in the on the internet that you can design to exercise so this is what we have now i hope you'll enjoy my course please leave a review and a comment and see you in the next video